That's nearly half the price for the same night at the same resort. That's crazy. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a lovely start to your day. Today we're doing something a little bit different. We're doing more of like a vlog style video. Um, I'm actually in the midst of trying to plan for my next Disney vacation and I thought it'd be fun to kind of take you guys along, but there will still be like travel videos and all that, so not to fret. Also, I wanted to quickly apologize. My mic clip-in is like missing. I don't know. I don't even know where I could have put it. So I'm so sorry if the audio is off. I will be ordering a new one. So hopefully that all gets settled. Not like traveling right now, so it shouldn't be too, too bad, but we'll see. If you enjoyed this video while you're watching, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. So I'm actually planning to go to Disney at some point in 2024, probably towards like the back end of the year after summer vacations and all that. But I do plan on using DVC rental store because I want to stay at more of a deluxe or higher end resort without paying such a high price tag. So I'm in the middle of just kind of like perusing on their website and I'm going to walk you guys through that. And I've never rented with them before. So you're going to see what it's like, like, a first timer trying to use the site and all that good stuff all right so let's see what we have here first i'm just gonna look up and see like how this whole thing works because i really don't know <laughs> um so there's a few ways to start your journey it's either check availability and price or browse confirmed reservations so it says here if you are looking for a rental with availability already reserved the browse confirmed reservations is for you so I definitely want to book, so I think that's the way I'm gonna go, but let's see what else they have to offer here. Browse confirmed reservations, select a listing, submit request form, enjoy your vacation. It seems pretty straightforward. Confirmed reservations are reservations that have already been secured by a DVC member and are just waiting on a guest to reserve them. When you see a reservation you'd like to secure, simply click on the listing and select the request now button to begin a simple three page three page request form is it just me or is that like a lot of pages <laughs> okay uh, once the request form is submitted our team will quickly process your request and follow up with you to provide purchasing instructions okay so one huge difference between booking with dvc rental versus booking with like walt disney world resort is the cancellation policy. Now, when I book a Walt Disney World Resort vacation, generally speaking, you have 30 days prior to your trip to cancel and get a full refund. Once you hit like that 29 day mark, it becomes a little different. Like it's a little bit of a different story. You're not eligible for a full refund. With DVC Rental Store, they call it their stress-free cancellation policy, but it has to be 120 days or greater, which honestly is a big window of time. I also get it in a sense though, because these are actual members who are renting out their points. So they have to find somebody to fill that slot in. But whereas it was like money that they were like hoping to get, versus like Disney World where like they have so much capacity and like people kind of checking in and checking out every day. So I do get why there's a pretty big difference in cancellation policy. Just something to note if you're looking to book with DVC rental store is that the cancellation policies between Disney World and DVC are very different. I'm fine with this. I'm definitely going to go um, either way, but I just thought this was super interesting. Okay, so I think I'm going to go the browse confirm reservations because I definitely want to go and I definitely want to book with DVC and I want to see what's actually available. To be completely honest, I don't fully understand the check availability and price tool but let's play around with the browse confirmed reservations and see what we find maybe i'll do like a quick comparison between dvc and like what it would be to book direct with walt disney world so i'm gonna start by filtering some things um date range i'm pretty flexible so i'm not really concerned about that i didn't book like my flight or anything so gonna leave that off for now so there's a, you can sort by date and it's date ascending but just for funsies i'm actually gonna sort by sure why not let's do price low to high see what happens what that's crazy wow i'm sorry i that caught me really off guard so i priced low to high and one night at animal kingdom jumbo house 
from October 7th to October 8th in a studio is $260. I'm pretty sure that's the same price I paid at Pop Century. I'm kind of getting the hype of why people like to rent with DVC rental store. That, that's insane. One night, $260? Say like you only want to do that one night at a deluxe resort and then go to over to a value resort right after it. Like that's actually like really nice. Like you could really plan a nice vacation and have like multiple um, resorts that way. That's that's pretty cool. Okay, just for funsies, let's price this out. So I'm gonna price out Animal Kingdom Jumbo on Disney's website and for the same exact night and see what it comes out to. Let's try it out. Oh my gosh. Okay, so granted, I'm on the website right now and the studio value isn't available on the Walt Disney World website. The next cheapest price on the Walt Disney website is $511. That's a savings of $251. That's nearly half the price for the same night at the same resort. Okay, maybe the like value room is like slightly cheaper, but it's probably not gonna be more than like what, 480? That's still a significant savings on a deluxe resort. You can stay for one night at Old Key West in a studio on September 11th to September 12th for $289. The prices right now are kind of blowing my mind because I didn't think I'd be able to stay at a deluxe resort because of the price, but this is actually making it super affordable. Okay, so Riviera Resort from October 8th to October 9th is $494. I love the Riviera. I've never stayed there, but I love going to Primo Piatto. I love walking around, taking the Skyliner there. It's just such a beautiful resort. It's a studio, but I don't know. So is the studio the same as a deluxe studio or are those two separate things? Because I don't see any studio listed, although there's a tower studio. Honestly, I'm not quite sure what the difference is between all of them, but I'm just gonna go based off the lowest price and that's the deluxe studio standard view, which is $698 for one night and it's $494 over on DVC. So $200 again of savings, which is just wild. If you're going to like the, the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party, you might wanna check DVC Rental Store. They have amazing deals for all times, but I'm seeing a lot between like August and like November. So that's pretty awesome. So I definitely recommend checking these guys out and you get the perks of a deluxe, I'm assuming. If the park is having extended evening hours for deluxe resort guests, you are included in that. That's incredible. I'm so excited. <laughs> so it's literally pouring outside right now. So I'm so sorry if you can hear that. It's like thunder, lightning, like everything. Um, but I did just submit the three page form. It was super easy. I thought it was gonna be like three like full pages. It was just like a few questions per page really easy i think it took me like less than two minutes to fill out the whole thing i already received a response back from dvc rental store and if i don't hear back in 24 hours they said just to shoot them an email or check like the spam folder so definitely gonna do that um but i'm really excited i will fill you in once i get their email and yeah i'm so excited for booking with them now just for like safety purposes i'm not going to be saying when i'm going but i will be going at some point between now and and the end of this year, but definitely in 2024, which is really exciting. I will let you know where I'm staying though. So I'm staying at Animal Kingdom. There were so many amazing options for Animal Kingdom. Um, and I found one that I really like. I'm really excited. I haven't stayed at Animal Kingdom since I was a young tot. So really excited. And I stayed at Animal Kingdom Lodge. This time I'll be staying at Animal Kingdom Kidani Village. So kind of wait to see when this form comes back all right well good morning it's the next day um i'm actually just watching like tiana's bayou adventure um i see a lot of creators have been going on the ride and giving their feedback and honestly i'm so excited to ride it um and in that same disney category 
um dvc rental store got back to me at like literally like 905 like it was crazy how fast they got back to me this morning it's a little confusing because they say thank you so much for contacting dvc store we're excited to help you with your upcoming disney vacation like if you have any questions feel free to reply back or if you're ready to proceed let us know so it's not like as like straightforward as i would have thought i was like oh, okay so now i reply back and tell them to go ahead which i guess it kind of does make sense since you don't have like a continue button or something like that when you're like quoting it or like going to quote it. But I said, thank you so much for getting back to me so fast. I'd like to go ahead and proceed with the reservation. So, so far so good. We're going to Disney again in 2024. This is so amazing and I am so, so thankful. So quick update, the DVC rental store is throwing me a little bit. Um, I'm so used to having like everything in one spot especially like disney where you could just like put in like your credit card information like all of the payment and stuff in one spot and then go this is like definitely more of like a multi-step process i think it is definitely worth the price um i the room i'm getting is basically the price of a moderate which is insane to think about but I'm so excited. Cannot wait to ride Tiana's Bayou Adventure. It's gonna be a good one. This one, I I feel like every trip I get to go on is always special and unique in a certain type of way. And I think this one's definitely gonna be really, really special as well. So I'm so excited. I cannot wait. Now I'm just like patiently waiting for the email to come in so I can like actually finalize this. Honestly, DVC has been really super speedy. So even if it is a person who has to send it, like I don't think it should be too, too long. We're booked. I'm so excited. I'm not gonna lie that that was way longer of a process than it is like on the Disney website. It was about 11 emails back to back, but DVC rental store service was absolutely amazing. It was a little confusing for a first time around. Not nothing I couldn't figure out within five minutes. So all in all, it was a really good experience. I'm booked. I'm going to Disney. Oh man, this is so exciting. I cannot wait. I'm actually pumped. Uh, I'm staying at Animal Kingdom Kidani Village in a Savannah room. And like I said before or earlier, um, I will be staying sometime in 2024, which is awesome. Can't wait to eat at Animal Kingdom. I heard the food choices at AKL are like insane. So really excited. I don't, I don't know if I've ever eaten at Animal Kingdom lunch or maybe when I was like really little, but like, I don't remember it at all. So yay! all the emotions of booking a Disney trip, you know, if you enjoyed while you're watching, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe until next time, friends. I hope you have a magical rest of your week and I will see you all later. Bye.